Hey there, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. Um, we do websites and online business systems for women solopreneurs. And I'm back with another video today to show you how to use landing pages to garner interest for a waiting list if you have a new service or a new program that you're going to be releasing. And so this way we can get people onto your, um, your waiting list um, in the free version of MailChimp where you only have one audience or one list and get them some sort of confirmation email, a way to say like, get them excited about your new service. So since we only have one audience in the free version of MailChimp, you might already have that main list programmed to send a welcome email with say a freebie or like your general welcome message. And you don't want to get rid of that, but you also have a new service that you want to promote and get people on a list for. To do that, we're going to use a landing page and that's under campaigns. This is a newer feature of MailChimp and I was surprised to learn it is available in the free plan. It's a really great option because what we can do here is create a landing page. And you see, I don't have any in here. This is sort of a dummy account. Create a campaign, create a landing page. Um, so we'll say waiting list. And here you can select any of these items. If you really want to create a sales page to really start to spark interest, you can pick one of these longer format ones that have more options for images. For the sake of this video, to keep this short, I'm just gonna select this one. So here we'll just, you can insert your logo. Here you can edit the text by clicking and it pulls up this box. You can change the style to anything you want. Edit this text if you need it. The form, I always like to include the first name, make it required. Style, you can style the button on this tab. So this is pretty simple. And again, you'll have the option to create a more stylized page if you want to and select one of the other templates. We're gonna go ahead and hit save and close. This is sort of the important part. So the entire purpose of this landing page is to let them know that they're interested in your service, the one on your waiting list. If they land on your general audience, but they don't um, have a tag to differentiate, you won't know. So you only have one audience in the free version. That's what they're going on. Now you need to tag them. So here we'll give them the tag waiting list. Hit save. So now whenever they fill out this form, they're going to be added to your main audience. So they'll get all the regular communications you send out, but they'll have the tag waiting list. And what you can do then is come to audience tags. If you ever want to send an email out to only the people on that waiting list, you would select this, send regular campaign. Then you can send an email only to the people with the waiting list tag, not to the people on your main list or not to everyone else on your main list, I should say. To send them a automated welcome email, you know, to say like, you know, thanks for being here, glad you're interested, stay tuned for next steps, anything like that, you'll do an automation. And I do have a video on automations. Um, one step user journeys is all you're allowed to have in the free version, but that's enough for this purpose. And I do have a video on them, which I'll link below, which will show you how to deliver sort of a lead magnet with this. Um, so let's see if I select classic automation, if it allows us. So email subscribers when they're tagged. Begin, let's see if it lets us figure out the, add the tag. Sorry, I'm playing around with this a little bit. Um, this is different from a standard user journey. Please select a tag. So here, this is perfect. So here we would select the waiting list tag, update trigger. And then here, design the email. This is where you could put in all that information, style it like a regular campaign. Subject, all of these things. Test subject. Next. Go through your campaign builder. I'm just going to skip this part because this is all simple. And once it's ready, you would go ahead and you would publish this since the email isn't live. It might not give me the option to do that yet.
Right, email has no content, that's why it's flagging it. So anyway, we'll save and exit. But if you were to proceed with that process, you will have, <clears throat> excuse me, you will have created a landing page and you can use that link. So here, if we go back to campaigns, I'll show you where to grab that link. Landing pages, waiting list. We're gonna go ahead and publish it. Publish. And see now this is the link that will bring up this form. So you can embed this on your, in a button would be the ideal way to do it. Or, you know, you can do it in a link and embedded link in a bit of text. So you would take this, they can sign up for this, say, yes, I'm excited for the waiting list. And then when they submit it, they'll get the email that you set up in that single email, um, email flow. And that will live my journeys. So here, once that's finished, you could publish that and then they'll get that. So that is a very easy way to use landing pages to set up some different things and get people onto different lists and to use tags in order to differentiate since you only have the one audience in your free version of MailChimp. Hope this helps. As always, drop questions below and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Thank you.